In this video, we review Azure Network Watcher and its topology tool. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. If you've deployed a virtual network in Azure, you likely also deployed Network Watcher. In this video, we get an overview of what it is and then we look at one of its functions, viewing resource relationships. Before that, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Azure AD Identities, and Windows 365. The links are below. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, if you've deployed a VNet in Azure, you may have noticed a new resource group called Network Watcher RG show up. And if you're intentional on naming standards, that name may be infuriating, but at least it's descriptive. Network Watcher is a tool used to monitor, diagnose, view metrics, and enable or disable logs for resources attached to an Azure virtual network. It monitors IaaS products like VMs, application gateways, and load balancers. It's not, however, intended for monitoring PaaS services or tracking web analytics. Network Watcher is enabled by default when a virtual network is created. If you don't use it and don't want it created automatically, you can opt out of automatic enrollment and create them manually as needed. There's no charge for Network Watcher, and unless there's a specific reason to opt out, it's best to leave it set to default. Also, opting out of Network Watcher's automatic enrollment is permanent. Only Azure support can enable it again. In just a second, we're going to jump into the portal and view resource relationships in and between virtual networks using the topology tool. We'll also do some basic route testing. Be sure to subscribe to see more videos on Network Watcher coming soon. Here we are in the portal. Let's start by searching for Network Watcher. There it is. Here we are in Network Watcher. You can see all the Network Watchers based on location and subscription. We have a monitoring section with topology, connection monitor, and network performance monitor. Then we have diagnostic tools such as IP flow, network security group diagnostics, routing, security rules, and other tools. Let's go to topology to get started. We can select the subscription, resource group, and virtual network, and nothing happens. Let's try the new topology experience since the old one doesn't seem to work. Here we are in the new experience. This view includes all regions and subscriptions. We have Central US and it's connected to East US. We can also see the VNets in Central US. If we click the plus sign next to the East US location, that expands East US. We have connections between some, but not all VNets. These are VNet peerings. We can click on one of the peerings. That provides details on the peering relationship. We can also drill down into VNets. Let's drill down into VNet zero. Here we are in the VNet. We have our subnets in the VNet and the peering relationships. The subnets with a plus have connections. Let's look at the gateway subnet. We'll click the plus sign. Let's scroll down. This is the gateway for the VPN between Azure and my home lab. Let's drill into the gateway. Here it shows the VNet, subnet, and gateway, as well as the home lab connection. We can hover over and get details. We can open up the gateway. It shows the health status of available, and we can get detailed performance metrics from the gateway. We also have the option to view details that will take you to the gateway pane in the portal. Let's go back to our regions. This time we'll open VNet 3. Here we have a couple more VNet peerings. This is a hub and spoke configuration. Let's open up the default subnet. We get a message that not all items can be shown in the graphic view and we can switch to the table view. Let's stay with the graphic view for this example. 
Here we can see all the connections to the subnet and the VNet and their relationship to VMs and private endpoints. We can also see that not all VMs are on in this environment. At any time, we can download what's on the screen as an SVG image by clicking the Download Topology button. That's handy if you want to insert it into a PowerPoint presentation or documentation. Let's go back. We can click on a private endpoint to see the connection. Here it shows the storage account that it's connected to. Let's go back. We're going to open up one of the VMs that are powered on. There are some basic troubleshooting tools available. Let's say that we're having some routing problems and we want to see where the computer is sending traffic. We can go to Insights and Diagnostics. We can click on View Details to see the VM page in the portal. One annoying thing about this view is if we go back after we leave the view, we go to back to the default view and we have to drill back down to where we left off. Here we are back where we left off. Let's go to the next top tool. Here we can see where traffic is sent to help troubleshoot routing issues. We'll use an IP address for a VM and a different VNet and check the next hop. It tells us the next hop type is a virtual network peering and it comes from a system route. Let's try another IP address. Let's add a different IP to a VM on my home lab. That shows the next hop type is a virtual network gateway. It's using the route provided by the gateway route, and the IP is the public IP address of that gateway. That is an overview of how to use the topology tool. I hope that helps you better understand how to use Network Watcher to view relationships between resources in Azure. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.